I wanted to look at the turning points in the history of ideas, because I started from an insight of a colleague, Louis Sass, professor, uh, now retired, but a former distinguished professor of psychology at Rutgers, um, that the 20th century showed extraordinary uh, um, likenesses in its thinking and in its art and in its philosophy to schizophrenia. Now, of course, neither he nor I think that suddenly in the 20th century we all became schizophrenic. But there is a strong connection, I can talk about it later if you want, between um, industrialization and schizophrenia. And it's interesting that most illnesses, mental illnesses that we recognize now, we can find descriptions of in ancient texts, but we can't find descriptions of schizophrenia until about the 18th century, when people started to move into cities. But what, what I want to just say is that I can show that schizophrenia is like an overdrive of the left hemisphere with a malfunctioning or non-functioning right hemisphere, in which the left hemisphere is trying to make up for a complete inability to understand in the normal way that we have gifted to us in the faculties of the right hemisphere. And so we can become seduced by all kinds of things 